Hola amigos and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got to Seafoam Island, cut the legendary Pokemon Articuno, and also got ourselves an adorable little fucker named Omar. Look at how cute he is! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Omar is adorable. I freaking love Omanite. I don't know why, I just really, really like Omanite. For some odd reason, his design is just like... Oh man. And normally I'm not kind of one to gush about Generation 1's Pokémon because I find a lot of them to be overrated. But Omanite, man! He's so cute! With those gigantic eyes and those tentacles. And not testicles like I was about to say. What all do we have anyway? Uh, Balrog, Rattata, Todd, Poop, Woo! Mr. Nido. Poliwag, Firo, Boskov, Dugtrio, Execute, Doduo, Goldeen, Nidorina, Slowbeef, Venonat, Lapras, Articuno, Pop-Tarts, and Omar. Well, let's bring Pop-Tarts back into our uh, party because I think we're gonna need him actually for this next area. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Anyway. First and foremost, though, I want to take an item out from uh, Pop Tarts' possession. Give me that. Give me that. Give me them fries, boy. And now we're actually going to go back to Rock Tunnel. But wait, we're not going to Rock Tunnel, are we? And I'm just like, no, we're not going to Rock Tunnel. Don't be silly. I hate Rock Tunnel with a passion. Why would we go back there? Well, the main reason is, we're actually going to be going to our next legendary Pokémon! If I could press A instead of B. Or X instead of square, or Q instead of P. Anyway, there's a trainer here, let's ignore him. And instead, go into... The best music ever. The power plant! Oh man. Power plant, honestly, I like this place. It's full of electrical Pokemans. Including traps! Yes. Any item ball you see in this area, there's a chance that it might actually be Electrode in disguise. Uh. We can actually catch an Electrode if you'd like us to. Uh, but Electrode's kind of useless on our party because we've already got Electrical Beast. Also, Pin Missile is kind of useless. Hey, we've made, uh, we've made Spark useless. Wow. And Electrode's just keep on, gonna keep on doing that, you know? Electrode really doesn't have any way to, uh, hurt- oh. Never mind, it totally has a way to hurt us found a way to kill us. But in case you really want an Electrode, you can just come here. Unless you want to trade a Raichu for an Electrode. That would be silly. You can also catch Pikachu in this area, and it's at a much higher level than at, uh... Viridian Forest. Oh man. I always get lost in this place, somehow. I mean, it's not really a big place, but for some odd reason, I... Ugh. As I was saying... Uh... Is this an item? There we go, Thunderstone. In case you want to evolve another Pikachu or something. I like this place's music, though. It's all kind of techno-y and stuff. Oh, hey, there's a conveniently perched Articuno. Not Articuno. Conveniently perched bird. A zappy bird. Shoot him with your zappy birds. Now, I'm actually going to break this encounter with Rocksteady. Now, there's one thing to note. All three of the legendary birds also have an ability called Pressure, 
Which we'll, we'll get into that later, but for now... Yow! Okay! Meet Zapdos, the legendary Pokémon that lurks in the power plant! Mm, yes. Uh, Zapdos here is kind of a douche. He really is. I don't quite like him. Thankfully, Rocksteady doesn't like him either. So, with our combined dislike of Zapdos... Oh, man. Unfortunately, Zapdos isn't really affected by our Brick Break. So I'm gonna try Rock Blast here, see if I can't kill him. Come on, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Thank you. Thank you. Three times. Okay. And now... We get to the funny montage of me throwing balls. Have my balls, Zapdos. Have my balls. Mm, yes. Oh, no. So Zapdos uses a lot of electric-based moves, but he also uses Drill Pack, which is not very effective. Also, another thing to note is the fact that Zapdos' ability, Pressure, makes it so that you use up twice as much PP when you use a move. Therefore... Uh, Battles can get long very quick, because both parties can be, uh, stuck using Struggle. And that's not any fun for anyone. Well, okay, I lied. It's fun for me. I love using Struggle. It's such an awesome move. Life's eternal struggle. So, I think Zapdos' moves are Drill Peck, Thunder Wave, Thunder, and Detect. Um... And, as long as we have Rocksteady out, he can only really use Drill Peck to hurt us. And, because Drill Peck isn't super effective against us, then, uh, that pretty much renders his point moot. Moot. I love that word, moot. Moot. Meep. Oh, man. Earlier today, I was actually contemplating on, uh, what... LP I was gonna start next after I finish uploading the Mega Mari vids and stuff. So I'm playing uh I'm playing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Game Boy Advance game. Because that was kind of part of my childhood. I had a friend who had the game on his Game Boy Advance and he'd let me uh borrow it and Like because he was at over at our house constantly, so he had the game, and I'm just trying it out, and I'm just like, oh hey, this is actually kind of fun. I know, I'm, I've never really played the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video games aside from the arcade game adaptation for the NES and the Game Boy Advance game. So I think I might actually want to do an LP of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Game Boy Advance. Oh shoot, it was so close, too. I actually uh, joked about something on Skype with a few friends that my next LP should be Super Princess Peach, which actually I would not be opposed to playing. I, I Honestly, I like Super Princess Peach. I thought it was a decent game. Maybe not the best game ever, but it's still a good game, and I think it would be good to give that game a try and, you know... Play the game, and just try it out, see if LPing it would be any good. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a physical copy of the game with me. Which is really bad, because I'm not sure how emulating that game would work- Oh, we caught Zapdos, okay. I'm not sure how emulating that game would work. Because, you know, Princess Peach is the legendary bird Pokémon that, that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. I'm not sure how I can emulate Princess Peach doing that. Oh hey, we caught uh, Zapdos. That's sniffy, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if there's actually any items. Eh, don't care right now. Cause we just caught Zapdos. And since we've caught it, I guess we should fly back to Cinnabar Island.
and plan out our next move. Well, since I've already wasted 10 minutes rambling on about Super Princess Peach, I may as well do a bit of shopping and start the next area. Mm. So, I will be right back. And I'm back, okay. Uh, and I'm back. My imaginary friend is blue. Wow. So anyway, the door is locked. So we can't go into the locked door, which means we have to go in here. And once again with the awesome music, yes! Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. So the gimmick of this area is actually there's a lot of statues about, and well, we'll get into these what, what these statues do momentarily. I can't get out, this all, place is one big puzzle. And we're introduced to... Hobos! No, burglars! Who... Is it just me, or does he kind of look like... Jonathan Paula? Oh my god, do you know what this means? The real reason why they... Stopped the microwave show... Is so Jonathan Paula could turn to a life of crime! Oh no... Oh no! Oh no! This is horrible, this is bad. I I wonder if I wonder if everybody else knows this. And I'm just getting this information late. I mean I'm pretty sure well, maybe Jory Karen doesn't know it because he's usually kinda dumb and he doesn't know better. Oh man. Riley McElwain probably knows it though. Why am I talking about is it a good idea to microwave this? Why am I talking about that show? Why, 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 why? You know why? Because I'm dumb. Go Pop Tarts. Because I'm dumb. Because I'm dumb. Go Pop Tarts. Eh. What's up, Mikey? Suddenly, Charmeleon, Derpasaur, wants to fight a Turtle. Okay. Okay, I'm cool with that. I like... Char oh, man. I'm, I'm not good enough at the impression to do this, but I really want to give Charmeleon a Ridley voice. But unfortunately, even though my voice is usually very high-pitched and screechy, I can't get my voice that high-pitched and screechy. I'm sorry. Switches here open and close alternating sets of doors. So we press this switch. A secret switch! It's a secret wild Pokémon! Oh, it's just Grimer, never mind. There's no secrets this year. As you can tell, the wild Pokemon here are a little bit higher level than, uh... ...what we're usually used to. I'm actually gonna switch to Electrical Beast because there's a certain Pokemon I want in here, actually. And you may be thinking, but wait... ...what Pokemon could you possibly want in a place like this? It's so old and cold and covered in mold... ...but there's... I think there's a Pokemon in here that I'd want. Besides coughing. Oh man. Oh man, I'm gonna get me a coughing. I don't care what any of y'all think, I'm gonna get me a coughing. This is going great. Fantastic. Four hit combo. That's about as effective as my combos usually are in fighting games, anyway. Uh, quick attack. Quickie on the attack start. Uh, no. No, I want to catch a coughing. I want to catch a coughing. I really, really want to catch coughing. Coughing is a nifty Pokemon to have just for the hell of it. Oh, diary. We Christian newly discovered Pokemon. Mew. Aww. They found a Pokemon. We found Zinc. Is Zinc like a Pokemon? No, it isn't, you silly fucker. Why am I so vulgar today? I don't know, maybe it's just the atmosphere. Maybe it's just the fact that Grimer smells like poots.
Come on, where's the Pokemon I want to catch? That's not it. If it turns out that the, the Pokemon that I want to catch isn't even in this place, I'm gonna be angry. <sighs> you know what, I'm gonna go check. Be right back. Okay, it is here. So, I'm just gonna walk around until I catch it. Which means again, be right back. Nope. Yeah, I'll be right back. And that's when I said, fuck this noise, because we can probably find the Pokemon uh, on our way out or something like that. So, let's just explore this area a little bit more before we get all into it. July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Alright, so so far these journals are talking about a newly discovered Pokemon, and we know that this newly discovered Pokemon was called Mew. But what does this have to do with finding a key to the gym? Who would bar the outside of the bathroom door? Oh no! Unfunny reference to the Mega Man cartoon. Hooray! Video game humor in this piece, this place. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, oh! 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 I've gotta get it! I've gotta get it! I've gotta get it! I've gotta get it! Pin missile! Nope. Pin missile missed. That's why it's called pin missile. Cliff hanger. He's hanging from a cliff. That's why they call him cliff hanger. Man, I am old. I remember that. Shit. Aha, uh -huh, man. Vulpix. I want to catch it. Mother, father. Mother Father! I want to catch this Pokemon. This Pokemon is the last key to the party. And you may be thinking, but wait, what's so good about Vulpix? And I'm just like, everything. Vulpix is awesome. And well, judging by its stats, you may be thinking, oh, there's no way Vulpix could be that awesome. Vulpix's stats are bad, and I mean, like, Ninetales, which is the evolved form, is pretty good, but I mean. But no, Vulpix is awesome, because it's cute and adorable, and one of the few fire types I actually like, and I, I like it. Okay, so, nickname time. Woo! Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, actually, but. When I first started getting more into. Oh, man. I can't even discover. There's a comic series and anime and whatever that I used to watch and read, and I have no idea why I watched the anime adaptation because it was shit. But it was called Kanokon or something like that, and the main female character was Chizuru Minamoto, and who was this box girl and stuff, and if I can manage to spell. Man, this is what I've been waiting an entire game to do. Name of name of Vulpix after a character from a shitty anime nobody likes. Hooray! But you know what? At least the character is nice. Eh, well, that's that's the only compliment I'm going to give Kanakon right now. I like the character designs. Or well, a specific character design. It's not for the boobies, I swear. As long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, eh? So, exploring, exploring, exploring. This place is, uh, kind of irritating to explore, actually. It's a secret puzzle everywhere. My mentor once lived here. I'm Ron Burgundy. What? Uh, Brayden. Braydon. What the heck kind of name is Braydon? That sounds like a Pokemon name. Braydon, I choose you. Braydon, Braydon. <sighs> I'm sorry if anybody in the audience is just named Braydon and... No, I'm not. Braydon is... Braydon. Braydon, Braydon. Braydon, use Thunderbolt. Braydon, Braydon. Like that. Ah, 
Oh man. Rocksteady gain some experience. You know what? Miss Piggy needs some experience. Go, Prager. Go and kill them. Murder and maim and braid on. Oh man. You know what? Who's gonna bet that just because I'm making fun of the name, Radon is going to be the Elite Four champion if I take on the Elite Four? What the hell do I mean if? I'm playing this game, of course I'm gonna be taking on the Elite Four. Okay, seriously? Cross chop, please, thank you. Stop sparking me. Oh man, there's reasons why I hate this place. The trainers are one of them. Voltorb? Ooh, that's just vague enough to work. Sonic Boom. Really? I'm gonna die to a Voltorb? I'm gonna die to a Voltorb. That's the most pathetic way to die! There's 1,000 ways to die, exactly. And out of them, dying to Voltorb is the most pathetic of them. And you may be wondering, but why is that? And I'm just like, because fuck you, that's why. Oh man, why did I send out Electrical Beast? Why did I send out the Jolteon of Let's Plays? When I really meant to send out Rocksteady. Mmm. Mmm. Voltorb has like no moves to hurt us. Really. Besides, like, Sonic Boom, but that always deals set damage anyway, so I mean... Ooh, Volat missed. I'm going to become Dracula. Blah, I want to suck your blood. And, ow, my ears, they hurt. Did they hurt because of my bad Dracula impression? Well, maybe, but it also hurts because I've got this damn headset on. The things I do for love. Playing cards. Oh man. I wasn't ready to play cards. Uh, Pokemon Mansion. HP up, okay. Now, actually, I think what we have to do is go this way. Step here and. No! Damn it! I will be right back. Oh wait, I found another area. Uh. <laughs> You gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. Aww. And that's why on February 6th, I always say, Happy birthday, Mewtwo. Ah, that's nice. I forgot that was there. That's cute. And, oh, the music picks up. I forgot it did that. As much as I know about Pokemon, which is apparently nil, Alright, is it this one? Be right back! Okay, if you haven't guessed what I'm trying to do here is, there is an area, somewhere in here, where you have to fall to a previous floor. The problem is, remembering which tile it is, I think it's one of these. Oh, there it is, there we go. It's a secret passage and a trainer battle that we can skip. Okay. But we did find a car buzz for our trouble. No, I think there's a switch somewhere in here. Oh, wait, no. There's this place. So, September 1. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Mewtwo is violent and overrated. Yeah. Well... See, we found a full restore. Okay. Now we just need to find the key and find a way out of here. I love this music, though. It's like starts getting tense in the new Blizzard. Blizzard, very good ice type move. It doesn't have too much accuracy, but when it does hit, it really, really hurts. Um. It has like 120 power, which is really, really high. And I believe it's the strongest ice type move in this game, if I'm not, uh. 
senile in my old age. Alright, we found a secret key and a TM-22, which is Solar Beam. And Solar Beam is, once again, a very good... A very good... We have to press this Mewtwo statue. Yes. Okay, did we accidentally lock ourselves? Yes, we accidentally locked ourselves in. So now, we've got to press the switch again! Hooray! What does this remind you of? It reminds me of pressing switches! Pressing switches! Pressing switches! Hey, what are you gonna do, Tony? What are you gonna do, like, late- later today and stuff? Do you wanna come with me and press some switches? Uh, no thanks. I was gonna go home and, like, press some switches. I'm just like, dude, did you see that sweet switch I pressed? And I'm just like, yeah, dog. And I'm just like, wow. Oh hey, Cinnabar Mansion, we're out of it. I but wait, if we go back in, are we gonna go in through there? Of course not, don't be silly. Hmm. But now that we have the key, we can actually get into the gym. But we'll be saving the gym in the next episode. So until then, this is healing my Pokemon. Yatta da yatta do do do. Okay, really though, that's the end of the episode. So I'll see you guys later. This is Tales of Ranga signing out. Take care, everybody. Every bunny. Yes, all you bunnies in the audience, take care. God, what am I? Oh.